Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to stream with the PS3 bypassing HDCP using the Ever Media Live Gamer HD on the PC without buying additional cables, cords, and converters for the HDMI to back to bypass HDCP. So first things first. We're going to go to this diagram, and from the diagram, you can get a good idea of what you want to do. So, here's how you want to set up your streaming. So, the first thing is, from the PlayStation HDMI out, go from that into the HDMI in on the Avra Media Live Gamer HD and from that point you want to connect another HDMI from the HDMI out and go into your TV monitor or whatever after doing so you can either hook your PC up to a TV or a additional monitor or the same TV that you got your PlayStation 3 hooked into after you set everything up as shown here you're gonna go to recentral, which is this icon right here, and this is the software that comes with Avra Media Live Gamer HD. After doing so, go to Amateur, select Game Console. It's gonna give you the same diagram. Just do as I indicated over here in this little JPEG select video source which is HDMI because that's all you're gonna have plugged in it's gonna show your PS3 select HDMI for your audio and if you want to commentate voiceover narrate just select record external audio and you can use your PC mic for a microphone to you know communicate with your audience on whatever site you're streaming on you just select your mic after doing so you don't have to worry about these two because mainly this is for streaming with recentral so you can either click ready or click exit and click this button Then it should show your PS3. And you should be able to hear the sound. Just going to show you quickly that the game works. So, boom. Alright, after you do that, open either Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder or either XSplit. Choose, you know some desktop capturing software right now I'm using SCFH DSF for FME after you do that let's see you mainly just want it to be alright so you mainly just want it to be over the video so it'll pop up directly in FME apply minimize if you want to minimize guess not okay double alright there we go so as you can see, boom, PS3 is already ready to be streaming. Uh, you don't have to use these same particular settings. If you want me to go into detail, I just put this at main 5.1, 10 seconds for the keyframe frequency. I at least put it at 59.94. For some reason 60 was making it 
lag a lot on FME, but that should keep the frame rate normal. This is the same size as recentral display, so when it's select 800 by 450. And if you want to stream at higher settings, go right ahead. So afterwards, you can start broadcasting. And boom, you should be done. So here's the game. Man, it's hot. Now you don't have to play from your PC monitor. You can switch over, you know, using your controller for your TV to the PS3's um, inputs that you have selected from. The output that you got for the capture card so wherever the HDMI is coming from on the capture card that's where you would like to select if you want to view it in full screen if you rather just play in a small window and keep everything on one screen you can do it like so I don't really have that much of input lag because I'm using a smaller resolution but usually I just switch over so why I have the HDMI hooked up from my capture card that way I can play full screen and that's really it I mean if you would like to see it in action I sh I'd, I'd try <laughs> where this uh, and same goes for X split all you would do is just select screen region and over this video which I would do but for some reason I keep losing sound when I open up XSplit but this is FME and here's XSplit <coughs> now the sound may disappear when I open up XSplit I don't know Alright, so I guess not. So, basically what you want to do, go to add, screen region. You can select it as, I guess, like that. Make sure you stretch it out. If you want to add extra stuff, go right ahead. And... All you got to do is go to broadcast and it should go directly to Twitch.
And that's the end of my tutorial.